Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're still here at the, uh, well, we're back here at the bonfire at the uh, Dragonkin Mausoleum. Is that actually, I never actually looked out here, so that's supposed to be Lotric probably. But what is that up there? I don't really know. But we're still here at the Dragonkin Mausoleum. I wonder if that, is he gonna just, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna run up and try and... Oh, wow, okay. Bye. So this is a Cobra, by the way. This guy. Cobra guy. Uh, I think the knight is over there still, okay. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try uh check out the other areas as well, because... Uh, we missed a few things, and then we'll see if we can get past that dragon. Is this where we fought the... Oh, it is. Where we fought the ancient wyvern. What is this? No, I don't want to get squashed again. Thank you. Thank you for getting out of the way. Tight night scale, and what is the message? Oh, time for index finger butthole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very mature. Ooh, that's the first bonfire, isn't it? Over there. Yeah. Okay, so we're slowly. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, okay. So we're back at where the night is. I am using a shield. No. Okay, that was way too close again. He dies so dramatically. So, try gesture. So they're praying to this altar. Okay then, let's try the path of the dragon gesture then. Calamity ring. Okay, thank you. Let's approve this, because that was great. Um, calamity ring. Let's see here. Kind of looks like the Ring of Favor, actually. Uh, there it is. Receive double damage. Okay. A ring made from the orange eye of a calamitous dragon. Receive double damage. This ring has no useful powers and is merely a symbol of dragon worship. A thing quietly passed down amongst the most fervent adherents, some of whom become invinced, convinced that the task has been bestowed upon them as a sacred duty. Hmm. So it just makes the game harder then? Interesting. Interesting, but not something we're gonna use. But thanks. Thanks for that. Um, I think we went that way previously, so I'm, I am going to try... These don't really do anything, do they? I'm gonna try and take a look around here. If, oh, is this that shortcut elevator that we missed? Well, not missed, but we passed that when we were below, I believe. Are we that high up? Yeah, we are. So this is where... Yeah, it is. There is an item over there, though. Yeah, thanks. Onward boats! Onward boats! Thanks! Nothing! So let's head back up and, uh... Well, 
we probably accidentally went the right way before. So we need to get past that dragon, but I think I'm gonna pay a visit to the bonfire first. Um, have I been everywhere? I don't think... So I've been here right now. And that just drops down to where we eventually did the plunging attack on the dragon. Well, the wyvern, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think I didn't take that route over here on the right. Because there's a snake guy over here. Oh no, wait, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that just leads back to the boss fight area. Which we should explore as well, but... I'm just gonna try and see if we can't get past that dragon. I'm gonna go touch the bonfire first again, because I lost way too many charges on that knight. What the Why is a bell ringing? Because I know... Well, actually, there was a bell at the end of the ancient wyvern arena. So, we might have to check that out as well. Yeah, I think that's cheating. So, the left one has seen me. So, that's that one. Now, this one. Okay. So he's gonna block that again. Okay, get on with it. Thank you! So let's see, there's two more in here, so that's first... Take that one out. And then the other one... Because these guys are the ones that parry, right? I don't want to have that happen again. So I think this one dropped something. Yeah, another large Titanite shard. Uh, is there something hidden over here? I don't think so. So... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Shit. Wait, what? Okay, so I killed the little one. Okay. I would say bring it on. Okay, okay, there we go. It's down. Large Titanite Shard. Okay, so now we're pretty much back to where we were before. Uh, we still need to get up to that tower, but that's not that far away, is it? to cross this rickety bridge and now we're back where we were I don't think there were any enemies inside of there but I might be wrong I might be misremembering uh, no there's not so that's where that chest was and the message to drop down still says key ahead I'm not gonna do that I don't really trust that um, so these lizard thingies are back. Oh, 
Okay, I, I rolled past that completely, but... Oh, fuck off. Why are these things so mobile? Thank you. Twinkling Titanite, so they drop all kinds of Titanite, do they? Don't they? They're not that tough to beat, but that was kind of annoying. So now I could run further. I don't have that item yet. Okay, I think I pop. Okay, what the fuck? The tail is annoying me. The tail is annoying me. Okay, I'm inside. I still hear little feet, but that's probably those lizard thingies trying to get me. Okay, so that's another one down, I suppose. Well, we got through there alive, I should say, because we didn't really kill that thing. Okay, so you're gonna... There's a naked dude. Okay, the naked dude didn't follow me that fast. Wait a second, is this the guy with the two? No. Yeah, you're down. What is he? He's wearing a crown. Ricards. Oh, was that Ricard? The guy from uh, Sans Fortress in Dark Souls 1? Praise the sun indeed. We can get... Oh, that's where we... Uh, where the message said to, to find the key, but... Let's see. Ricard's rapier. There we go. A strikingly decorative rapier of an undead prince spoken of in ancient stories. Although many of the tales surrounding the prince are questionable, this trusting weapon suggests that the stories of his graceful technique were in fact true. Ricard's lunge and press assume a quick stance, lunge forward and execute a stunning chain attack. Sustain offensive with strong attack. So that's what we've seen him do constantly. Is there an item over here that I missed by running along there's rays of sunlight over here so maybe I should use this carpet here and uh, do another path of the dragon meditating in the sunlight it's well don't know where the light is coming from because the ceiling is intact over there weird but hey doesn't seem like there's something here what's this be wary of control. Nope. One can only try. So this slopes off, but it doesn't seem like there's something over there. Think carefully. Okay. Maybe I should go here first. Wow! That is one giant bell. To travel the path of the dragon, do not ring the great bell. But, but, but... Nothing will remain once the bell has tolled. Visions of dragon. Okay, so... What I get from this, because these are developer messages, I think. If I ring this bell now, it will destroy this entire place. That's what I get out of that. What the fuck is that? I would like another bonfire. Okay. Ask and you shall receive, apparently. So let's 
light it, rest at it, and I think I'm gonna pay a quick visit to Firelink Shrine. The Great Belfry? What? This is a... Uh... Oh, it's still the sad music, isn't it? Well, I can still level up, I suppose. Okay. Then touch the take nourish. Okay then. I can still level up, so that's not an issue. Um, I promised last time that I would uh, put some points into attunement as well, so I'm start gonna start doing that. Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. That still sounds so ominous. Um, and I think I missed. A bit of armor here as well, because I think Gundir's armor is in the mix right now. There we go. Ancient helm of a set of cast iron armor belonging to the champion Gundir, modeled after a former king. Gundir, or the belated champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. He then became sheathed to a coiled sword in the hopes that someday the first flame would be linked once more. Oh. What? So does that mean that we actually killed Gundir twice and that was the same guy? So the intended graves are out of sync in the timeline then. That's actually a real place that happened before. And since we defeated the champion Gundir, he became a sheet to a coiled sword. And that was what happened at the beginning of the game. Wow. So we caused him to become that statue at the beginning of the game. That is absurd. Really absurd, but hey. Ashen one. <laughs> okay then. Um I never actually talked to Orbeck again. Maybe he has something again, to say. I see perfect timing too. I don't mean to say no. the No, okay, that's still the same. Come again. So, I think I haven't visited Ludlet for a while, so I don't know if I missed a few weapons from bosses. Uh, so we'll check out his inventory first. Stop whining, I feel bad about giving the eyes to the firekeeper. Uh -huh. so. A fine day it is. Uh, ooh. White Dragon Breath, a mid crystal breath of Seed the Scaleless. Uh, crystal Breath has piercing qualities. Seed's research seemed to strike a chord with old Big Hat, who, in his mad, disrobed state, made divine works such as this his own. Osiris was no doubt edified by this. Seed's research seemed to strike a chord with old Big Hat who in his mad disrobed state, so we might still encounter Big Head Logan from Dark Souls 1 then. Interesting. What else do we have? Because I think that's the Crystal Sage. That's a lot of other stuff. Oh, here. The Moonlight Greatsword. Oh, there we go again, because we've seen this in every Souls game, including Bloodborne, by the way. The DLC uh, added the Moonlight Greatsword as well. Legendary dragon weapon associated with Seath the Pale Drake. Charged strong attack to its limit to unleash Moonlight Wave. Osiris, the consumed king, was infatuated with the search for Moonlight, but in the end, it never revealed itself to him. Moonlight Vortex. Draw sword back and trust to unleash torrential moonlight. Is it? Yeah, it's boosted by... Intelligence. Because it's a magic weapon, of course. Interesting. So that's what I can buy with uh, Consumed Osiris' soul. Do we have anything else that I haven't checked yet? Gundir's halberd. Uh, received when he was charged with his duty. This old cast iron halberd who has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble. Seeming to suggest that Gundir was fated to eternal service from the beginning. Ooh, okay. And what else does Gundir give us? Um, because he doesn't really have a shield now, does he? Oh, what's this? Prisoner chain. Portion of a steel chain used to restrain Gundir. Gain vigor, endurance and vitality, but take extra damage. A prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief. 
A proclivity most apparent in the greatest of champions. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'm gonna go for that with Champion Gundir's soul and well. The breeding breeding crystals is cool. But I do like the Moonlight Greatsword as well, so I'm gonna buy that. Thank you. I took the mantle of Lord of Cinder of mine own volition. Yeah, Since we know. Fate all the more. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna check that out for a second. The Moonlight Greatsword. Look at that. Look at that. So... Slash, I think it's the same moveset. So if I two-hand it... Nothing spectacularly happens, except if I do... Ooh. Fancy. But yeah, I'm not gonna... Check out that guy. Two amazing great swords. I'm gonna use my uh, Uchikatana for now. Because it is still the better option. And I'm still blind. There it is. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna head back to... Uh, what was it? The Belfry, right? The Great Belfry. Because there has been... There have been a lot of bell towers in Souls games. Okay, so... Because I'm wondering what this one hides. So this is... Is this where we came from? No. We came from the other side then. Yeah. Because uh, we have a lot of places that we haven't been to yet. Uh, but I'll first head towards this cliff. Beating to a pulp ahead. Yeah, great. That sounds... Sounds amazing. It sounds... That one looks strange. It looks bigger, but... No? Can I get the attention of that one? Yeah, thank you. No! No, it shall not. Thank you for the Night Night Shard. Invaded by Dark Spirit GG? Seriously? Where does he spawn? I'm gonna hide. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go now? Okay then. I totally parried that, but hey. Oh, snap. Okay, that was bullshit, but hey. What the fuck? I can't backstab the guy if he did that. That was fucking bullshit. So he was using... I think he was using those uh, gauntlets to, uh, to boost his poise. And then that caused me to not be able to... Uh, well, backstab him, I suppose. Now he's in parrying stance, probably. Yeah, that was really nice to expose your back like that. So let's kill that thing. Uh, 
Okay. Large soul of a crestfallen knight. That's open. Where does this lead? Is that where I could drop into? Uh oh. Oh no no no! Don't don't fall off together. Okay. Not a mimic. Not a trap. Twinkling Titanite times three. So let's take the ladder and see what's up here. Although it does look like there's a dragon. Oh. Okay. Is that... Havel? That looks like Havel, doesn't it? I hear stuff. Havel, are you friendly in this game? Nope! He's not. Okay. Wow, he has a lot of health. <laughs> I'm doing great. Really, really great. He kicked my ass. I don't know what's going on, but that's twice already that I couldn't roll away after the first attack. Which is uh, troubling. Dude! Seriously. So let's get back to that. I rolled through that, but hey. God damn it. Okay, let's go kill Havel. Properly this time. Oh. I don't care. So now the dragon will probably fly away again. And I can get the drop on Havel. Hi. So that's that. There we go. You're all away. So he doesn't care. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. What is he doing? What the fuck is that? Um, is that rock flash? Oh, I can't even do anything. That does something. So magic damage stays the same when he does that. Do, 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 do. That was close. Ooh. 
Nope. Ah, fuck. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ, he's fast. Oh, finally eat shit, fucking Havel the walk. Dragon Tooth and Havel's Great Shield. There we go. And now I want whatever it's beneath this dragon. That took way too long. A Titanite Slab. Okay, that was totally worth it. Now I can upgrade my Uchi Katana to plus 10. Which is amazing, but that took way too long. But I'll check out the weapons at least. So we have the Dragon's Tooth. Uh, if I can find it... Oh, there it is. Created from an everlasting dragon tooth that will never break. Left by Havel himself along with his boulder-like great shield grants its wielder resistance to magic and fire. Okay. Didn't seem to help him because I kind of beat him with magic. And then Havel's great shield. A tremendously solid and heavy great shield cut straight from a great slab of stone. Said to be a relic of the legendary Havel the Rock, along with the Dragon Tooth. The shield is imbued with a special power reminiscent of Havel himself. Skill, Stone Flesh, raise the shield in a silent prayer, turning the user's body into a solid mass of stone. So that's the skill of, his, of the shield itself. Let's see now. Because uh, I do want to see what's at the end there. Probably a boss fight. And I'm not going to start that today. Might as well check it out, right? Um, I will probably die if it's a boss. So uh, don't expect any great battles here. Oh, shite. Maybe it isn't a boss battle. Okay. That was uh, impressive. Okay, come over here. Just a little bit closer. Going for it. There we go, so that's that one. Now this one should uh, lose his shield or his back. There we go. Who's next? So he's gonna start parrying as he did before, so let's put a magic bolt between his eyes. Ooh, that's actually pretty... Pretty high damage. Let's see, can we lure anyone else of those guys? Because there seems to be a lot. Hello? There goes he. Let's ash and Astus up and use the staff to uh, lure that one. Oh, that's... That's not what I wanted at all. And that was also not what I wanted at all. Well, uh, that was terrifying. Can I... Can I get only one?
Okay, this is an issue. That's complete hogwash, but... Ooh, that turns back. This is annoying. This is really annoying. I'm gonna run back outside and see what happened here. That's one down. Yeah. That was stupid. Okay. So that's another batch done. What's left? I think there's only two tiny ones left. killed all the snakes. I think we killed all the snakes. And now I can finally see what's at the end here, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 no. You back off. Titanite scale will have plenty. Dragon chases ashes. Let's see about that. Umbral Ash of the fallen warrior who chose the path of the ancient dragons. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. Whatever it is, it is sure to grant strength to the most unrelenting warriors. Okay then. Oh, there's another one of those. There we go. Getting pretty good at those. Not so with the snake people though. Um, okay, so nothing on the sides anymore, I think. Okay, stop ringing that bell, I'm, it's creeping me out. Um, so lots of snake people. If this is a boss, I'm gonna tear my head open. If you need to kill all those snake people every time, that's gonna be ridiculous. But hey, 
Grand finale, I suppose. Oh god. This is the Arch Drag. Oh. Oh, I get it. Arch Dragon Peak, and that's the Arch Dragon. Do I. What can I do with this? Try gesture, okay, yeah. Was thinking that already, but. Okay. Off of the dragon. Hello? Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. Okay, that's cool, I suppose. Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. Gain Dragon Torso and roar until death. Uh. Stone imbued to the power of the everlasting dragons offered to a towering dragon. The stone shows signs of a nascent light. Gain the torso of a dragon and roar alongside the arch dragon Mirage. The transformation is irreversible until death. Yet true imitation will require a dragon head as well. Okay, so I have a dragon head. But I think if it works the same way as it did before, I need to remove my armor. Look at that. Hello. Uh, for that to work, so let's use this. That is awesome, and then the uh, twinkling dragon torso stone. I can't use it. Uh, do I need to remove everything else as well? Okay, and if I now, I'm, I'm just guessing here. No. I thought this could be something, but uh, apparently not. But I am now a complete dragon, which is uh, cool on its own. And roar, I think it said roar alongside. Roar alongside an arch dragon mirage. The transformation is here. Maybe it's just a different attack. But I don't really know how to use these attacks. If I... I don't know. I really don't know how to use this. Maybe if I remove everything? So now I don't have anything. Now I'm just a punching dragon. I don't know how to use the dragon attacks. Huh, maybe... Can I slot that? I'm wasting a lot of time here, I know, but... Don't really care. So if I now use this... Oh, yeah, there we go. That is fucking awesome. And then the, the other one. Where is the other one? Maybe I should do that up there. Might be a lot cooler. Does a female dragon have boobs? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have boobs. So, I'm gonna probably end the episode here then. Oh, holy... What the fuck just happened? That's awesome. That's so awesome. Can I kill something with this? I'm just gonna kill something with this and then I'm gonna end the episode. So be very quiet. Be very quiet. Very quiet and then roar! Okay. Boom! 
I don't look at, at it to be uh, really efficient, but... Okay, thanks. That's a nice way to end the episode. You didn't care about my fire breath, apparently. So I'm gonna quickly equip everything again, and then uh, get my souls and end it right here. Thank you. There we go. And I want my souls back. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna l ring that bell in the next episode. We could. But uh, until that, until that moment, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.